Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Vanilla Classic and our Darkshore playthrough on The Priest. To start things off today, we're going to head to the north. We have to gather up the Cliffsong River Water. And we have the buzz box up here. We also have the Red Crystal. So we'll go to the north. I want to check out some of the beach to sea creatures along the way, see if we can pick those up, do a little bit of grinding, and we'll end back over here. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and choosing to join me here today. I appreciate it, and I hope you're doing well. Everything else in town, we, we can wait on. We're not going to pick up anything else right now until we get these ones taken care of. Well, we've been aggroed by a rare. I've never seen Shadow Claw before. Level 13 rare Panther. And he was hanging out in stealth, so like you can't you couldn't even really hunt him. You can't hunt Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw has to hunt you. So uh yeah, I'm honored to have been hunted by Shadow Claw here. Oh look at that. Oh, that would have been really cool for a warrior. That's awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, we might as well actually head back to this last one here. Actually, that's not the last one. They, they go all the way up the coast. We'll grab this one uh, on the very tip of the peninsula, and then we'll head down to the river and the buzz box. So this one over here, that's not the one we're looking for, or is it? Oh, it's kind of hard to tell, but maybe it is. I can't hover over it. Oh, there we go. We have to hover over different parts of it. See, sometimes we're able to hover over the head. Last time we had to click on the body. This time it looks like it's the leg. All right, that makes sense. This looks like a two-pull here, so I'm going to get all my mana back really quick, because yeah, I think they're going to come at us together. Uh, no. No, we got lucky there. That's awesome.
Though you have yet to place the six Moonstalker Fangs inside, you believe you hear the sounds of static and incoherent gnome ramblings coming from within. Mm -hmm. Alright, this time it wants us to go after four grizzled scalps from the Thistle Bears. And that's it. Ah, uh, let's take a look. Oh, it wants us to go all the way down here. Okay. Yep, we'll do that later. Uh, I'm kind of uh, debating. We're going to come back up here anyway at level 20, so... The find and return the three pieces of a Galcox key. Okay. Yeah, this quest I've never done. And the stuff down here I've never done, so... All of that is going to be new to me. Uh, powers below... I think eventually we get sent back into this cave. Maybe that will become clear then. Let's head south. We're going to stop by the Red Crystal. And then maybe we'll do some fighting here before we head back to town. Maybe we'll stop in town first. We'll see. It might be better to stop in town first. That way we pick up any, uh, any follow-ups that might lead to the same area we're headed. Oh, I, I just noticed we have a quest for the Den Mother. Do we want to do that now? We might as well do it while we're out here.
All right, I think I found the way up. Yep, here we go. I'm not sure that I've ever been in this cave, so. Well, the den mother is <laughs> level orange. So several levels above us, and she just killed this druid who's here now dead. I probably could have saved him, but I, I didn't really get a good look at his health bar. I didn't know he was actually in danger, but you know what? It's not hardcore. So yeah, he's fine. And we don't have a res yet, so can't res him. Uh, and so this might be kind of a tough fight. Yeah, level, level 18. We're gonna try it. There might have been ads. He might, yeah, he might have already killed the ads. Okay. Th this could work out. He didn't loot many of them, unfortunately. Level 19. Ugh. Three levels above us. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. I should have had Power Word Shield up, like, long before we pulled. She's gonna eat through it in a couple hits. One hit. She ate through it in one hit. Well, we got it. Yeah, it was not easy. And if, if there had been any ads at all, we, we couldn't have done it, so... Ah, oh, this guy was behind us. Why didn't he invite to group? This is not hardcore, my man. We can invite to group.
it's kind of the worst when you fear them and they run with you. <laughs> like your intention is to send them like adjacent to you or behind you and they just run out ahead of you. It's kind of the worst thing that can happen with a fear. Uh, for this one, I don't remember how we get up here. I feel like it wasn't super complicated though. The crystal looks very alien against the wooded scenery of Darkshore. You think you hear a very slight humming coming from deep within it. You have made it once more to the mysterious crystal, removing the stopper on the tube of Moonwell water. You gingerly pour the contents out over the top of the crystal. As the water cascades down its lattices, you see the opaque surface turn transparent. The Moonwell water has revealed that embedded inside the crystal are a few small fragments of bone, as well as half of a jawbone. The jawbone appears to be from a humanoid, but it's unclear without breaking open the crystal, a feat that even the strongest of magic would find near impossible. Okay, hey, we get a, a staff from that one. I don't know if we can equip staffs yet. Uh, that's a big negative. Nope. Alright, let's go fight some of the Furbolgs for how big a threat, and then we'll head back to town. Well, it looks like somebody has just taken out the entire camp, which means that any minute now it's all going to respawn because I, I don't see any bodies, I don't see any enemies. Not really a safe place to hang out. Let's come down here on the uh, southern tip of the camp, and we'll, we'll kill this guy and we'll see if any respawns come in. Yeah, I see here they come. Actually, quite a few people on today, you know, for a Monday morning at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's quite a few people for Darkshore. I've always really liked the Furbolg houses, how they're made out of hollow tree trunks. 
I, I want to stay at like a Furbolg house Airbnb. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. You know how they have like the weird unique Airbnbs? I, I want to find one that looks like a Furbolg house. Pro I would need to I would need it to be a little bit bigger. I mean, I'm six foot four. This actually looks like it would be a decent size. Night elves are pretty tall, right? Our lady here is probably at least six foot four. This, yeah, this might work. This camp looks a little bit more populated. Alright, with that one done, let's head back to town and we will get everything turned in and we'll see what's next.
Now, is this lady going to have anything new to say, or does she say the same things every time we turn in one of these animal parts? Let's see what she said. There's, there's two different levels, so maybe they're different. Yeah, Beached Sea Turtle is the higher level. Let's do Creature first. Perhaps one day we'll find a means to prevent these poor creatures from ending their lives needlessly on the coast of Darkshore. Until then, we must continue our research. Okay. Another discovery, well done. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. We are making great strides in uncovering the mystery of why majestic sea creatures beach themselves on Darkshore's coastline. But with every qu question answered, two more are raised. I have heard of the kinds of carriages found on the back of the turtle you found. Those I do believe are Naga carriages used for both battle and in transportation of their supplies to land. The markings on the box you found are of the Naga. This would explain their in invasive presence in far northern Darkshore. I will send this box to Darnassus along with the rest of your discoveries. This is for you. So yeah, they do change a little bit actually. That, that one progressed a bit. And so we're going to find a little bit more. I wonder if this is going to lead us to more information about the Naga, because originally we were looking for information about, like, Teldrassil, and if the World Tree was kind of driving these creatures bonkers. But now we seem to be talking about the Naga. Maybe we'll encounter Naga up here. I've never been up here, so I'm, I'm really curious what's going on up there. Well, it would seem that even though we know more about this crystal, more unanswered questions are the result. I'll take the information you've uncovered to the council here in Aberdeen. Perhaps they'll know of a course of action to follow on this crystal. Well, that is if th there is one to be taken. For now, the threat remains far enough to our east to be out of harm's way. So yeah, I think this one ends. Let's grab the dagger, or the staff. We'll see if we can train staffs in Darnassus. Farewell. I'm not sure if we can. You have fought for Aberdeen with bravery and honor rambles. In our war-torn lands, death and despair are common. Many will not rise to meet the challenge of life in our new home, choosing instead to hide in their homes to, or escape to the more fortified lands of the Alliance. Thank you, Rambles. Perhaps someday soon we shall fight alongside as comrades versus another foe. Ah, uh, these are both good. Let's grab the gloves. I think are a little bit better. Alone light your path. I feel like in classic era, knowing like knowing which starting zones give you like the best of certain types of gear give you a good start. Like, I feel like we've gotten a lot of like decent caster stuff here and I wonder if like each starting zone has more of a prevalence of either leather cloth or mail when it comes to like what quest rewards you get Greetings. wash the blood from your garments rambles and do not mourn what you had to do instead give thanks you have lessened the threat to our people here in Aberdeen, even if Darkshore is still in jeopardy from the effects of Felmos. Rambles, I've come to find out how rampant the effects of Felmos are throughout Darkshore. The corruption of Teldrassil and our surrounding lands really concerns the druids of the Cenarian Circle and all Night Elves. It is my goal to find out why this has happened and put an end to it. See, I probably should have read that a while ago. Lost Master. Your skills have already helped me in my endeavor. Could I impose on you again to help Grimclaw and his master Volcor? In addition, I can craft you a magical cloak that will allow you to walk unhindered by Darkshore's creatures while you look for him. To create the cloak, I'll need five fine Moonstalker pelts from a Moonstalker sire or matriarch. Go in peace. That's going to be higher level stuff, yeah. Absolutely. And then the Tower of Athalax. We might as well take a look at this. We're not we're not level seven, 18 yet, but we are 17, so let's have a look. How may I help? Hail, young Night Elf. I am Alyssa Starbreeze, and it is my charge to protect Aberdeen from harm. 
To this end, I sent a Balthuel Shadow Strike to observe these strange happenings around the Tower of Athlax far to the northeast. It is past time that he should have returned. I worry that he has encountered some unforeseen danger in the forest. I would be most appreciative if you would find him and see that he is doing well. Del Madras. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take a look at our talents. I've been doing really good at keeping up on the talents, haven't I? We're going to go two more points in one spec. What brings you here? The pollution of the Cliffspring River is but the start of an alarming trend here in Darkshore. The sample you provide will help us formalize a plan, a plan of attack. It is no surprise how tainted this water is, but just look at how putrid it's becoming. It would seem that action is needed sooner than later. To our east is Fellwood. It is the real source of this corruption, one that I have seen in times past. I predict the sample will confirm this. We might be able to enact a cure for it here, but in order to even try, we will need assistance. When that time comes, Rambles, I hope you will be able to give the aid we need. The Blackwood Corrupted We've learned that a source of furball corruption is from the Satyr. They hold sway via talismans that they can channel magic through. If the Furbolgs have a chance at salvation, we must lure out the Satyr Corruptor and take that talisman. Fill this bowl at our moonwell and take samples to the Furbolgs of the Furbolgs' food from their northern camp. Mix them and place it near the bonfire by the river. Any Furbolg who eat it will be cleansed just long enough to lure the satyr out. Okay, okay, that seems really elaborate. But it kind of makes sense, I guess. Let's go ahead and empty our inventory. We have a lot of junk, I'm sure. I, I kind of like the int. There we go, just a color swap. Still looking good. Uh, I like I like tunics and trousers on casters. So I think I'm I think I'm gonna keep the tunic. The only exception to that I guess would be undead. I prefer the undead have robes because otherwise you see all their bony parts. I'm gonna start hanging on to some of my herbs, especially since we have the herb bag. There's not really a big rush to sell them. And once I get some stacks, I'm going I'm to start putting them up on the auction house. Yeah, we're going to hang on to this. And same thing with the leather. Maybe I'll get that done today. Maybe I'll head to the auction house after recording and get that taken care of. Kind of want it to be like these, these to be like more immersively about the questing and about the adventure. And uh, I don't know if I want to work things in like the auction house. I might have to do that stuff off of, off of recording. All right, I'm going to fill up at the moon well before I forget to do that in the future. Alright guys, this is going to be a good place for me to take a little bit of a break. Next time we'll grab the rest of the quest here, we'll read them all, and then we'll kind of form a plan. Because I, I think we are in the last part of the zone. We probably have about a quarter of the questing left. And I guess we exit here around level 20. And then, you know, the adventures can continue somewhere else. And so for the future of this series, uh, we're going to finish Darkshore. I, I don't know if I'm going to go right into Ashenvale on this character. I may check out some other zones, so keeping in mind my goal with these playlists is to eventually have a playlist for every zone in the game. That's that's kind of the overall goal. So, you know, to keep it fresh, I'll be jumping around to different parts of the world. We'll be seeing different characters in different zones. 
and just kind of using the characters we have, our characters that we make who are positioned to, to do the zones that we haven't done yet. So yeah, that is the plan. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate the support. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.